So Leite Omnes, welcome to this video lesson on chapter 15. We're picking up at section 2. Post titum Marcus ad ludum advenit. After Titus, Marcus comes to or arrives at the school. Neque is Yanuan posat, nor does he uh, knock on the door, antequam intrat, before he enters. Marcus statim intrat, Marcus immediately enters, nec magistrum salutat, nor does he greet the teacher. O oh, Marque inquidiodorus, O oh, Marcus, says Diodorus, cur tu Yanuam non pulsas, uh, cum ad ludum venis. Why are you not uh, knocking on the door when you come to school? And notice pulsas has the S ending and venis has the S ending, which indicates a U singular subject. Nec me salutas, nor do you greet me. Notice the S ending on the verb salutas again. Cum me wides, when you see me. Again, note the verb ending in S. This chapter has a lot more of the changes in subjects. Previously, most of the chapters have had just the T, he, she, it ending, and the NT ending, which means they or they are, that kind of a thing. Um, but this chapter has a lot more of the O's, which is the I subject, the S, which is you singular, mus, which is we, and tis, T-I-S, which is y'all. All right, going on in line 47, at Marcus, um, but Marcus says, Ego yanuam non pulso, I do not knock on the door, cum ad ludum winio, when I come to school. Notice pulso and winio both end with the O, that's the I subject. Nec te saluto, cum te wideo, nor do I greet you when I see you. Notice saluto and wideo both end in the O ending, thus I subject. Quia nec sextus, nec titus id facet, because neither sextus nor titus does it. Now, of course, this is not true, and so sextus and titus both say, quid, what? Marcus ad sextum et titum, Marcus to sextus and titus, says, understood. Vos yanuam non pulsatis cum ad ludum venitis. You all, vos, do not knock on the door when you come to school. And notice pulsatis and venitis both end with the T-I-S, which is the y'all or you plural ending. Nec magistrum salutatis, nor do you greet the teacher, cum eum videtis, when you see him. Auditis ne id quod dico, do you all hear that which I am saying? Notice dico ends with the O ending, thus the I subject, and auditis like those other verbs, has the T-I-S, U plural, or y'all ending. Tum sextus et titus, then sextus and titus, say, id quod dicis verum non est, that which you say is not true. Nos, Yanuam posamus, we knock on the door, cum ad ludum venimus, when we come to school, et magistrum salutamus, and we greet the teacher, cum eum videmus, when we see him. Now notice pulsamus, venimus, salutamus, and videmus all end with the mus, which is the mus or we ending. Non verum dicimus, magister, aren't we saying the truth, master, or teacher? Now notice dicimus also ends with the mus ending, thus the we subject. The teacher answers, Vos verum dicitis, you all are saying the truth. And notice he replies with the verb with the TIS ending, dicitis, y'all are you plural. Quod Marcus dicit non es verum, what Marcus is saying is not true. Discipulus improbus es Marque, you are a bad student, a wicked student, Marcus. Necesse es te punire, it is necessary to punish you. Statem ad me veni, immediately come to me, come to me right away. Diodorus magister severus tergum porri virga verbrat. Diodorus, the strict teacher, whips the uh, boy's back with a virga, with a switch or stick. Tergum es posterior pars corporis. The back is the posterior part of the body, um, the more behind part, you might say, of the body. All right, tergum dolet Marco. The back hurts for Marcus. Now, we would say probably just Marcus's back hurts, um, but notice Latin does this with a dative, literally, for Marcus. Neque ille lacrimat, nor does he cry, 
non lacrimare puro romano non convenit, for it's not fitting for a Roman boy to cry. Marcus clamat, Marcus shouts, Ei, yam satis est! Ei, that, that's enough now. Desine magister. Stop, teacher. Magister purum verberare desinit, the teacher stops whipping the boy. Et, and, ad selam tuam redi inquit, asque concide. Uh, return, ready, to your seat, ad selam tuam, and sit down, he says. Marcus ad selam tuam redit, neque concidit, said tacitus ante selam stat. Marcus returns to his seat, ad selam tuam redit, and he does not sit down, neque concidit, but he stands uh, quiet in front of his seat. Tacitus is the quiet stat, it stands, right? Adisne Marque, do you hear Marcus? Ego te considere, Ubeo. I am ordering you, Ego Ubeo, um, te considere, uh, for you to sit down. Cur non considis, why are you not sitting down? Interrogat magister, asks the teacher. Marcus says, Non consido, I am not sitting down, considere non possum because I'm not able to sit. And Diodorus says, Cur sedere non potes. Why aren't you able to sit? And notice in the margin, they show you the singular forms of posum. Posum, I am able, that's the I form. Potes, you are able, singular. And then potes, he, she, it is able. Just as a reminder, and it shows you how that's made. Basically, the root is P-O-T, but then when the next letter is an S, like in posum, um, the T turns into an S. All right, so Marcus replies, Sedere non posum, I am not able to sit, quod mihi dolet, because something hurts me, and he was going to say his butt, right? But he's afraid that Diodorus, who I think he knows is a prude here, is not going to like him to say the Latin word for butt, uh, which would probably be something like clunes. Um, so instead he says, pars terci inferior in qua sedere solo, the lower part of my back on which I am accustomed to sit. <laughs> it's a rather weird thing to say. Haec verba audientes titus et sextus rident. Audientes, present participle, hearing, haec verba, these words, Titus et sextus, Titus and sextus, rident, laugh. Now, they, of course, know that he's talking about his butt, and they're laughing because he's not saying the word, but they know what it is and all of this. Remember, they're all young children. They're like seven or eight. And Diodorus says, Quid redetis, tite et sexte? What are you laughing at, Titus and sextus? Titus says, redemos, we laugh. Quod Marco dolet, because for Marcus there is hurting, and then of course he's going to say the butt too. And then Diodorus says, Tacete, shut up. Eam corporis partim nominare non convenit. It is not fitting, it's not proper to name nominare that part, eam partim, of the body, corporis. Now, I have to say, every time I read this, I think this is really funny. Uh, I think there are prudes in every society, but Greek and Roman society tended to be very unprudish. Uh, so it's really funny because a lot of, you know, I mean, they exercised in the nude all the time. They had public bathhouses, and it, it just, it's kind of funny to me that Diodorus, the Greek teacher, is such a prude. But he doesn't want them to say the word for but here. So anyhow... Okay, said ubi es frater tuus, Marque? So I think the teacher's maybe wanting to change the subject, so he says, but where is your brother, Marcus? And then Marcus says, is domi est, he is at home, apud matrim suam, with his mother. Now, you can hear a note of derision in the way that he phrases that, right? With his mother, not our mother, but his mother. Uh, like he's saying Quintus is maybe a baby, or is playing wimpy, or whatever. Quintus dicit se aigrumese. Quintus says that he's sick. And again here, it seems like he's implying maybe Quintus isn't really hurt, isn't really ill from having fallen out of the tree. And then Diodor says, si aigerest, if he is unwell, in ludum ire non potest. 
he isn't able, he cannot come or go to school. At vos bene valetes, but you all are well, you all are healthy. Yam aperite libros, now open your books. And then Titus says, Marcus meam librum habet, Marcus has my book. And Diodora says, Quid tu librum uh, tite habes, Marque? What do you have Titus's book for, Marcus? And then Marcus says, Ego eus librum habeo, quod is meum malum habet. I have his book, eus librum, because he has my apple, meum malum. Rede mihi malum meum, tite. Return me my apple, Titus. Give my apple back to me, Titus. Titus redins, Titus laughing. Notice the redins ends with the NS again, present participle, ing in English. Titus laughing says, Malum tibi redere non possum. I am not able to return the apple to you. Irenim yam in winter meo est, for it is already in my stomach, in winter meo. Marcus iratus, Marcus angry, titum pulsare incipit begins to beat up Titus, said Magister, uh, but the teacher says, De sine Marque, stop Marcus. Titus tibi malum dare non potest. Titus cannot give you the apple. At ego tibi malum dare possum. But I am able to give you a bad thing. Nisi hic et nunc tito librum redis. Unless here and now you return the book to Titus. Now, here's the thing. So, malum with a long A means apple. Malum with a short A means bad thing. That is, it's a neuter of the adjective malus a um. So, of course, the bad thing that the teacher can give Marcus if he doesn't give Titus's book back is a punishment, a whipping with the virga, right? So, the teacher is making a pun in Latin. It always kills the joke to explain it, but basically he's making a pun between malum, malum with the long A is apple, and malum with the short A is bad thing or thus punishment. Okay, anyhow, it's funny if you get it in Latin, but if you have to explain it, I'm, I know it just kills the joke, but that's what's going on there. Marcus Tito Librum Reddit. Marcus uh, returns the book to Titus. Well, that gets us down to the end of section 2 at line 95. We'll finish up with our last section next time. I hope you learned a few things here, and I hope at least the next time you see malum malum, you'll know it means bad apple, and you'll be able to distinguish between the malum apple and the malum bad thing. All right. Wale te omnes.